Hello, welcome to the Cycling Ireland Swift League review show. We're going to have a little look back at events uh, that happened in last Saturday's fifth round of the series. And we look forward to this Saturday's sixth round of what has been an absolute runaway success in Cycling Ireland racing. It's been a wonderful innovation. I think everyone will agree. I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Rona McLaughlin. He was a podium finisher in round one of the league since when he has stepped down to assist us in bringing the uh, Cycling Ireland Swift League to you on these on the Cycling Ireland platforms. I can tell you this evening we'll be chatting to Maura Claffey, who had, took a great victory in round five last week, to Adam McGeever, similarly debut victory for the young man from Donegal. We'll also catch up with uh, a real advocate of Zwift racing. He's a talent transfer athlete from, uh, from running, David Gillick, who's going to be along for a bit of a chat later on. Nicholas Roach, World Tour professional of no less than 14 years standing, is also going to have a chat with us as well about the little tips and techniques that he's learned from his time in lockdown and uh, learning how to race on the on the Zwift platform. That's all to come very shortly, but uh, Ronan, uh, let's have a little look back at what happened in round five. It was an exceptionally tough day out for all the riders and it kind of lived up to expectations. It sure, it sure did, yeah. You know, that uh, the big loop around around Watopia is one of the toughest courses on the, on the Watopia world, so I don't think anybody went into expecting an easy race. Uh, and certainly everybody I spoke to since have said the same thing, that it was a race to the top of that epic KOM there at the start. You know, it was, it was very early on in the, in the race, but certainly uh, it, it, it caused huge gaps in the, in the bunch. And uh, it, was a, it, was, it was a platform for really where the, where the winners pushed ahead from. Yeah, the superstars certainly emerged. It separated the wheat from the chaff and, of course, uh, gravitating towards the top and flying up those hills was uh, Maura Claffey taking her first victory in the series in her second appearance. And I'm delighted to say we're joined by Maura now. She's well known to everyone in Irish racing from her performances on the road with the UCD Cycling Club last year. She's now signed up with uh, an elite team. In Britain team on form and more you're very welcome to the Cycling Ireland Swift League show uh, fantastic performance last uh, Saturday do you want to sum it up for us what did it go to plan I presume you can say nothing but it did um yeah Declan it was it was great um yeah I don't I don't think I had an actual plan for it um but it was it's great they're the great races there's no soft pedaling in them so it's it's just flat to the max from the the first second but um yeah you just just go for the hour that it is and yeah it's great and are you a bit of an advocate of zwift racing are you enjoying it um i've done a complete u-turn um look it, it wouldn't have been something that i was crazy about a few months ago but given the time that it is look i, I think it's great that we actually have an opportunity to replicate racing in some form and it gives us some familiarity of what what we're used to every weekend and and you know it, it, there are some similarities in in how you might race at the weekend so it's good it's good fun i'm glad we have it uh maura you're as you said there you're fairly fairly new to this what racing and you know you obviously had some great performances on the on the road last season you've come out of the winter in great condition and, and great form as well uh, and you know, in the three races you've done so far, uh, you've you've come on in leaps and bounds in Zwift as well. I'm just interested to hear: do you do you find your progression on Zwift is is down to the the form that you have, or is it you know is there any uh, any benefit to the having done three races on Zwift now? Do you think that's what helped make you, uh, helped you make the step up last weekend, having that extra bit of experience on the platform? Ah, uh, yeah, there, there is a little bit of, it's different technique. It's not the same skill set as you're going to have on, on the road, obviously. But um, yeah, when, once you kind of figure out how the draft feature works, okay, you, you kind of read the, the route as you would if you were racing a route outside um, and you get some kind of degree of how you're going to, you know, maybe moderate your efforts. Um, and then there's, you know, there's little things that you just learn, like as you go on, you need to be warmed up well, which I never did for the first few races. And, um, you know, basics like don't use a time trial bike, stuff like that. Um, and then all the connections, just getting them in a row is like a success before even the, the race starts. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's good fun. There's a little bit of technique to it that way. So was the tactic last weekend just as hard as you could to the top of the epic KOM? Pretty much. 
yeah and and then just keep going after that um even though you, you, you feel like you can't so so that's it yeah it's like a it's like a threshold effort or an fdp effort and and then you just you you just keep going that's it Make it sound too easy. More a breakthrough season on the road last year. It was a fantastic performance, particularly we remember the Lara Classic towards the end of the year and a really strong uh, performance in Ross Namon in, in September. What were the plans earlier this year? We've heard some reports that you're absolutely uh, pulling up tree trunks during the, the pre-season training camp in Calpe. Unfortunately, you're not on the road at the moment, but you do have plans, a switch of team this year. Yeah, so I'm um, I'm still with UCD as my club, but um, yeah, I I'm with Team on Form in the UK. Unfortunately, I haven't got to race with them on the road yet. I was on my way over to race with them five weeks ago now, and then it it was just a decision that I made at the time that it just was it was not the right call. So um, look, you never know. Towards the end of the year. The plan was to race the British National Series with them. Um, so that would include the the Lincoln GP, I think it's next week, and a, a few other really nice races. But maybe it's it's not to be for now, but who knows, towards the end of the season or, you know, the, the training is still done, the work is still done. So it's it's just building on that. Yeah, you're certainly keeping yourself in pretty good form. The cycling athlete, clearly it's going well for you place already um fourth in the standings at the moment but i presume you know you're, you're well aware of the fact that you can drop three rounds so you're still very much in the hunt for overall honors yeah our um our specific scenario here is there's there's three of us actually who um ride bikes in the house so it's, it's a little bit of hustle sometimes we have two turbos at the moment kind of one and a half so you know it's a hustle whoever's up first is is going to get a race so there's a little bit of that going on as well um so i i hope i will get to to race i'm still following my general training plan for the road whenever that resumes but this is a nice adjunct to that and it does it definitely does give you a little bit of motivation even if you decide okay i'm just going to do this race at high tempo that that never works so um yeah it's it's great and i hope i'll do the the rest of them well yeah we look forward to seeing you first up best dressed is always the best advice in that house and um, yeah well done congratulations so far we look forward to seeing uh, how you get on on saturday and indeed in the remaining rounds of the series so thanks very much uh, for for joining us more and uh, now i think we've caught it we're going to catch up with the man who took the victory last week in the men's event uh, the first a across the line a terrific performance there were just five uh, irish riders uh, cycling ireland swift league uh, entrance in that group at the front uh, after what was a pretty savage day of racing and I'm delighted to say we're joined by the man who just about managed to edge a, a pretty frenetic gallop to the line. Adam McGeever from Donegal is uh, with us and Adam congratulations first of all on that great victory and that great success uh, last weekend. What did it, was it uh, something that you almost expected? Was it a big itch you needed to scratch? Were you desperate for that win? Yeah, just everything went to plan that day. Like nothing went wrong with Wi Fi or anything. And um just like got the win. Got the win, you certainly did. Is it uh, yeah. you know, obviously you've been someone who knows about Swift and are you a bit of an early adopter or are you someone that was enthusiastically looking forward to the opportunity to to take part in the Cycling Ireland Swift League? Yeah, when I heard it started I was buzzing for it, like because I was racing all winter using it as a training platform like it really got my form up so when i heard there was a cycling ireland swift league like i thought it'd be fun and adam you uh, you're obviously a, a prolific swift racer uh, as you said you just spent the whole winter racing on swift there uh you're also having having done well on cycle cross before and and uh you know obviously taking part in underage races on the road as well do you think that those uh, high intensity style racing like cyclocross and underage racing really helps you on Zwift? I know for me, the fact that yeah. it's so fast and so hard from the start, uh, doesn't really suit me, but maybe that's a strength you have, is it? Yeah, it is it's exactly like youth races, just to the, to the point, like it's it just it feels the same every, every way, like short, sharp races. So I'm used to them. Okay. 
Very good. Yeah, I've seen that in the first race, certainly, when you came flying past me in the sprint of the lane. I thought, whoa, that's yeah. uh, a bit, bit of power being unleashed there, certainly. Uh, it's a big yeah. KOM on Saturday. Oh, it was it's a pretty long, man. pretty long effort, isn't so it? So hard. Yeah. I, didn't, I thought it would be like, I heard 9K, like, and I was like, all right, just hang in. But um, it just kept going on and on and on. And it was hanging. I knew in the front group, and it was just it was marking the Irish riders the whole time. If and a Spanish rider went up front, I wouldn't follow him. But I was just marking the Irish riders trying to save matches and that. So for the finish, very good. Well, you had a fair few matches available at the back end of that one. Listen, absolutely fantastic mm -hmm. performance. Best of luck on Saturday and indeed for the rest of the Cycling Ireland Swift League. Adam McKeever, thanks for joining us from Donegal, representing, of course, Team AAA. Superb performance and uh, good performance as well from the next man we're going to hear from. It's uh, David Gillick, European or former European champion indoor uh, athlete who's uh, become something of an evangelist. He's a real advocate of bike riding indoor cycling in uh, specifically and he's really uh, adopted and uh, taken to the Zwift the Cycling Ireland Zwift League like a duck to water let's hear from him now I'm very much sucked into it um you know I'm kind of learning every time I hop up on the bike and get onto Zwift about like FTPs and, and watts and interval sessions and all that sort of stuff because what I was finding was I um my legs were just screaming at me very early in rides and I was thinking okay like my heart rate's pretty low so how do I improve my wattage and basically it's just about conditioning and these are all the things that I, I suppose as an athlete that um I was quite interested in when I was competing over 400 meters so it's a lot shorter very sprint based it's brilliant and it's new and I think the beauty with Swift is like I can go onto the garage um instead of looking at four walls I'm chasing someone in front of me I've got the the Zwift telling me to close the gap and I'm looking at my heart rate, I'm looking at my watts and I think it's just a brilliant way to kind of keep fit. It's very interesting. What are your expectations about uh, about the Cycling Ireland Swift League as an innovation, but for you as well? I mean, presumably you're hoping to move up through the ranks. For the league, I'm just really enjoying the fact that I have something to aim for each week. You know, I, I, I'm always kind of after one Saturday, I'm looking to see what the next route is and I register and I think that gives me a bit of focus to kind of go, okay, over the next week, here's the session I'm going to do, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, relax Friday, and then get out there on Saturday and give it a, give it a go. So another man who has embraced with great enthusiasm the Zwift platform and in indoor cycling in general is Nicholas Roach. He scored some fantastic victories and uh, top performance performances various different uh, races of late where well, we caught up with Nicholas to get some tips on how to get the best out of these with platform for the Cycling Ireland Swift League. Uh, first of all I, I, I'd like to give a thumbs up to, to Cycling Ireland to, to have stepped up as a federation to organize these events I think it's important uh, you, you know many times uh, federations are, are seen there to, to organize event and you pay your license or whatever but the, the, there's things where people always believe that hopefully one day they, they'd also get something back and I think at the moment it was a great initiative from them so when uh, when we had a talk with uh, with Gary and Scott about uh, if I could join one I said well listen it, it, as every Sunday morning just make it a uh, my, 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 my meet up and uh, I'll be there and if I have to leave early or if I have to race I'll just adapt but uh, I think I, I really wanted to support the initiative of, of getting something especially at the, at the very beginning because I think it's the hardest, you know, as the day goes by, you get used, you get to a new rhythm where at the very beginning is like, oh, what do we do? It's a bit of a shock. It's like, you don't know what to do, what to expect. And this kind of encourages you to, and instead of thinking, can I maybe escape in the Wicklow Mountains? No one will catch me. And they actually do. Uh, when well, you have this saying, all right, no, I'm not going to take any risk. I'm going to go on the Ergo and do these rides. And it's cool that they have races there as well. So I'm not a big specialist on, on, on Swift and I still, like the other day, for example, I did a couple of races on Swift and uh, I, I got my bottom walloped, although my watts were literally like 40 or 50 watts above everyone that was in front of me. And my heart rate was shooting through the roof when the other guys were about 20, 30 heart rate below me. Um, obviously, the, the drafting in Swift uh, is quite significant uh which means uh, and and maybe a little bit exaggerated so it, it's actually very difficult to go on a breakaway on a flat race when the level is quite high on, on swift uh, and i find that the mountains are not too difficult they're quite they're challenging but that they're quite i mean you know uh, uh you wouldn't go out to as on the big ring and you can do it quite easily on out the swiss uh <laughs> and, and there's a lot of like little tricks to to learn it's 
it's a video game it has its rules it's not only about power and naming it and you know there's moments where i discovered how how to go on the bars you know where at the beginning i, I never until someone just flew past me on the bar and said how do you do that you know and obviously when you're doing a race it helps the same goes when you, when you can freewheel on the descent and not lose speed and when you can pedal and not gain speed so all these are the tricks you have to kind of learn and it's not where, where for me when i was going on swift it was all about pushing hard all the time and then i realized like no it's like a video game there's rules and you play with the rules and some of them there's moments where you can actually recover and the goal when you're doing your 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 your, your loops for example or your koms or, or whatever well, koms not because you're mainly going up but some of the loops you, you think that it will just be about, you know, pushing, 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 which I thought doing like time trials. And then you just realize that, no, it's not only about pushing. There's moments where you can actually recover uh, moments and goals. So there's a little, little bit of tricks that you have to learn. And, you know, at some point I was doing like seven, seven and a half watts per kilo for about three or four minutes. And the bunch were doing five watts per kilo. And I had like five seconds gap and I wasn't opening. And I just killed myself. And I was like, and I was looking at underneath and you can see all the, all the kilowatts of the other riders. And I was getting quite frustrated because I was I was doing like a proper proper hard effort, and then and then the guy saying no 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 you can't do it there you have to do it there wait for here wait for that, um, don't ride in the first ten of the bunch because you're twenty watts more and but because I was the same you know I was dropping back and next thing I was fiftieth because there were big bunches and then I was pushing a little bit and next thing I was back in the wind again and I was just doing this all the time rather than trying to find the feel and they were giving me the tricks you know about. When, when your avatar is up, it means you're on the wheel. When it's down, it means you're in the wind or the opposite. Uh, so all these are the tricks. Um, so that's, that's for the racing. That's, that's as much as I have got for the racing. Great tips from Nicholas there. Well, looking at the league standings, after five rounds, Jonathan Caulfield is back in the lead of the men's competition with Chris McGlinchey within four points and Darren Dunn in third. David Gearan is still the leading Group B rider, Ross Blaney heads the Cs, and Anthony Moreland is now the leading D rider. In the women's competition, Shannon Kelly has a reduced advantage of six points over Eileen Burns, with Imogen Cotter third, 14 points back. Sharon Kennedy leads the B group, Joanna Rogan the Cs, and Armel Mangan remains the leading D rider. So Ron, it looks like it's going to be a tough enough test, maybe not quite as difficult as last Saturday. Is it going to bring some more bike riders into it? Certainly another testing course there. Uh, I think it's going to be more open this weekend. A lot more riders will fancy their chances. Uh, it's by no means a flat course or an easy course. Uh, certainly, I do expect it to, to split up uh, and in, se in sections there, especially through the jungle and the, and the climbs taking out of the jungle again. Uh, but I do see, you know, sort of a select group coming up to the finish to sprint it out for the one in, in each category. Well, we look forward to that. There's been record numbers each week and rising with each uh, consecutive week of the series. We look forward to more competitors uh, coming up on Saturday for the sixth round of the series. That's at 10 a.m. Just uh, remains for me to remind you that the Cycling Ireland charity ride on Sunday is at 9.30. Anything up to 75 kilometres, you can choose your distance. Uh, the designated charity from Cycling Ireland is the Irish Cancer Society. And uh, we understand that Eddie Dunbar and Nicholas Roach will be joining the riders for that particular event so look forward to that one meantime we'll be back on saturday so it only remains for me to say goodbye and uh, on behalf of ronan as well we'll be back on saturday please do join us then but for now goodbye